got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat Wave. Today, I want to ask you guys, which band do you want to fight? <laughs> Okay. Uh, Can it be well, the I just finished Kids watching band? Surviving. <laughs> I just finished watching Surviving R. Kelly, so I kind of want to fight R. Kelly now. Ooh, yeah, that's a. Mm-hmm. That was a yeah, rough... sign me up for that one. That, like, let's all just gang up on R. Kelly. All right, well, that's yeah. fine. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a super rough documentary. I watched that too. Um, and that's definitely why most of the time I feel like I can separate an artist from their art. Um, But that's one that I go back and it feels really icky. Especially like our favorite song by him is so fucking creepy now. Yeah, now it's super creepy with the context of it. Like uh, I used to love. No. uh, Remix to Ignition. Mm. Uh, And there was always a line that I never really understood, but I never really thought about it. But where he says hot and fresh out the kitchen. And I'm like, oh, he means that she's young. <laughs> oh, he means that she's a middle schooler. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, that's really yeah. gross now. I hate it. So Undercooked buns over there. Yep. Um, Y'all, apparently it's really easy to start a sex cult. Yeah. You know? Like, that's what I'm learning from watching Tiger King and then surviving R. Kelly back to back. All you have to do is target, like, oppressed groups of people. Or people either oppressed or like people who are like like how Tiger King rolled up to the bus station was like, all right, which of which of you guys are getting out of jail and need a job because you got no place to go? Who's on meth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vulnerable populations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was Grody. still like floored by seeing um, the actress who played. I don't know if you guys watched Smallville, but um, Allison mm-hmm. Mack played one of the characters on there, and she got caught up in. She is a big part of a sex cult, too. Yeah, yeah. A Hollywood sex cult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't know if it was specifically Hollywood, but... It was Hollywood-based, I believe. Yeah. But, yeah. Ah, uh, hey. I want to fight everyone, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just ready to go down. He's just like, all right. I shaved my goatee for this. You can't grab nothing. <laughs> um, I want to fight Aerosmith. Oh, that's a good one. Steven, oh, yeah, they're old. Steven Tyler's face is so ugly. I'm, I'm going to go even older. And I want to punch him. I want to fight the Rolling Stones. <laughs> and I want to I want to hit like Mick Jagger. Yeah. Um, yeah. I and mean, you want to shout who now who has moves like Jagger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's a lot of bands that I want to fight. Like, I still want to fight Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to fight Limp Bizkit. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's still causing me trauma. Uh, <laughs> I think what? the bassist would probably take all of us, though. The one with the weird eye. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. West Borland? I don't- Maybe. <laughs> he was the guitarist or bassist. Yeah, he usually wore contacts. But, mm. yeah, after, like, the, the bullshit that they, they pulled, like, having fans, like, submit, like, songs and then stealing them is like, like, mm-hmm. fuck you guys. Like, wait, what? Real? I didn't know about that. Yeah, tell us about that. What? <laughs> tell us about this, Hutch. Tell us why you want to fight Limp Biscuit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. I, I totally <laughs> because they the, the full biscuits? context of, of the situation. But they had, like, some sort of, like... Contest where fans could submit songs, but they had like um, a special clause that said that like the band could like use um, their shit like if they wanted to, and apparently they did for at Jesus. least more, some of it. That's amazing. You know, I find a lot of contests were like that. Oh. Like a couple years ago, uh, DMC, which is like a major cross stitching supplier, they did a contest where they were like, "Hey, come up with a great pattern," and we won't give you anything, but we'll make your pattern into a thing and we'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> it's for exposure. Yeah, and everyone was super fucking pissed, and all of the patterns they submitted with the hashtag was just like pay artists, uh, you know, artists I have exposure, things like that. Yeah, uh, and it was really <clears throat> fantastic. And DMC was like, okay, we'll change it to like I forget. They were like five hundred dollars for the winner, but everyone was already like, fuck you guys. Um, and they were yeah. like, fuck your contest. But it was the same thing where they were going to take, they were going to get a ton of free 
uh, cross stitch patterns that they were going to be able to sell. It was the same like deal, uh, and the winner wasn't going to get shit. So it was like I don't know what it is with people doing that lately. They like really take advantage of artists. Well, I guess not lately. It's always been a I mean, thing. But there's always going to be been, people yeah. <clears throat> with lesser uh, uh, possibilities and opportunities, and people with uh, <clears throat> no talent and all the money are going to take advantage of it. Yeah. I found out that Chris Brown did something similar to that. Um, not recently, I guess. Maybe it was some time ago on Instagram. He basically lifted um, a uh, drawing from an artist and then edited the drawing, to, you know, elements of it to, I guess, fit whatever he was like trying to like um, convey. Uh, and then the the artist called him out, and then he replied back to him. Fuck you. No one cares about some Instagram pic. Um, wow. Shut up. Yeah, that's how uh, like Chris Brown. And it's like, like, it's like, dude, I already hate you because of like... The whole Rihanna you, thing. What, the whole Rihanna situation, but I mean, you just, man. Anyway. Well, we should also fight Chris Brown too then. <clears throat> yeah, I think we should all fight Chris Brown. I would really love to just like break his teeth with my hand. Yeah. Like I want the satisfaction <laughs> of feeling his bones break under my hands. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna tell take me, out our really quarantine feel. frustrations on this so, topic. <laughs> so I've been trying to convince Brittany to get into like kickboxing class or something for a while now. She's full of full of isolation rage. <laughs> yeah, well, that, like before we were isolated, I've been just been like, she's got like some like pent up rage that I feel like you need to hit things. <laughs> Hit things that I'm allowed to hit. <laughs> yeah, like and <laughs> not Michelle. I mean, thankfully she never hits me. But <laughs> listen, Michelle, blink twice if she hits you. Okay. No, what's really what's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is- that was a strong deflection. Now I'm concerned. Greater. I have a greater concern for your well-being. Well, see, what I'm going to say now is that since I've started just, transitioning... Just call me and pretend like s- you're ordering a pizza. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm driving by. Just just jump in the car. We'll, we'll, we'll run out of here. <laughs> so, Every time she talks to the doctor on the phone, they grill her about domestic abuse and if like I hit her. <laughs> yeah, every time. Where did you get these bruises? I'm clumsy. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, he- sure. Here's the thing. Like... Now, Brittany probably could beat me up. Like, is he someone that I opens mean, charge? Let's and be shit? real. She's always been able to. Uh, she could hit, she can take hits, but she couldn't give them. I kind of had to teach her how to punch. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find that out? Well, we got drunk one New Year's Eve. It was okay, so you need to put some context in this. Okay. So, yeah, it was. <laughs> We were at a friend's like a lot. We were at a friend's house uh, for New Year's Eve. We all, all of us, like a big group of us, were all pretty drunk. We go downstairs <clears throat> to their basement, and they had a pair of boxing gloves. And me and this other friend, um, we were like, you know, it'd be really funny. I've never punched with one of these before. Let's let's do it. But we have to put one arm behind our back because we only have one pair. And then we'll mm. switch um, halfway through because like one of us has to use the dominant hand and the other one has to use like the less dominant <laughs> hand. It was, it was like a super dumb idea. So me and my friend are just like going ham on each other. And she gets really frustrated with me and just ends up punching me in the face with her, like, ungloved fist. (laughs) But I was just like, yeah! I was, like, super into it. (laughs) And then Michelle was like, let me try. And then Michelle puts the glove on, and I just bought Michelle right in the nose with the the gloved hand. And we just... We were just messing around. It wasn't, like, a a real fight or anything. Like, we were laughing the whole time. Yeah, no. No one was angry. (laughs) No one was crying. But that's how I learned how to punch. That was the first time I ever punched somebody because i was also like i've never punched anyone before i want to try mm-hmm. but we'll do it with these gloves on so i don't actually hurt you but i think i might have hurt a couple of friends uh, yeah, also yeah. I was drunk. strikes me as a bat person <laughs> like someone who would use a bat rather than hitting yeah <clears throat> how do you feel about that yeah maybe i was a uh, rock i could see you taking the clever approach and using mechanical <laughs> advantage to benefit you i think it depends on how angry i am so, mm. so um, I used to get in a lot of fights when I was younger, and I used leverage um, was my tool always. Um, that was your simple fighting tool? Yeah, so... One- <laughs> I prefer the pulley, but... <laughs> hey, they can't fight if they're off guard. Well, yeah, well, this uh, the 
probably the most damage I caused someone was when I was four years old, this 12 year old was trying to fight me and chase me. And, um, I chased him. He chased me around the, uh, the playground and whatnot. And he lost track of me. He came around this corner and I just tripped him and like classic, like Looney Tunes, put your foot out, trip him kind of thing. <clears throat> Uh, but that's I didn't not realize, a fight, like, really. Uh, oh, well, there was fighting before that. That's like, a that's I, a Metal Gear Solid mission. I, I kicked him in the nuts <laughs> when he pulled me off the swing. So there was a fight before mm. that too. Uh, mm. But <clears throat> I finished the fight by tripping him and his head hitting a cement uh, uh, bench. So now he's a now he's a sweet kid. Yeah, uh, he wasn't. He tried to fight me again like six years later. Now he's a lead singer of Creed. <laughs> 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 with arms wide open that's who i want to fight creed creed <laughs> more like my ears wide open am i right i don't know they're Canadian, <laughs> so they've probably been in some hockey fights before yeah maybe well uh, just just the lead singer then mm. i can handle one hockey player <laughs> uh. do you know that from experience or are you just speculating speculation <laughs> I don't know, man. The hockey player is going to have their uh, their skate. So they've already got a weapon on. They just always you. carry it around with them. Just, <laughs> just <one> always. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, man, you'll never know when you got to drop the puck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how about you, Jairus? Uh, did you give us a band that you would want to fight? Uh, R. Kelly? But I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I think a fight with someone like uh, Weird Al would be really interesting. It'd be entertaining. At the very like, least. If it, was, if it was a good-natured fight, I'd choose Weird Al. Okay. But if it wasn't a good-natured, I would not choose Weird Al because I bet he is a scrappy motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is tall. <laughs> he's, he's a vegan. and he, He's got the reach. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to have the He's got the accordion strength. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> the accordion strength. He'll run with scissors. <laughs> he has. <laughs> oh man. Um So yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Smash like and subscribe. <laughs> what oh, if what t- if we just say YouTube. we like want to fight like a Magfest artist? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Supersonic. The Super Guitar Bros. (laughs) 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 Or like that one kid who had his 3DS and was just like, "Mm, mm, mm," on stage and that was it. I definitely want to fight him. That guy, I don't know who he is. I definitely want to fight him. (laughs) Too mellow, I want you. (laughs) Just someone like... Just all of the game chops. Put the game chops in a bag and I'm going to punch it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to include all this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Are I'm you trying to get all of the game chops to jump me? <laughs> yes. I just thought it would be fun to fight our friends. <laughs> Let's fight them. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Cool. Smash. Smash like now. Smash comment. Now. Smash subscribe. Bomb the bell. The bomb it. <laughs> 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 uh, this is your ASMR audio right here. I know, here. right? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, let's just make a video, let's make a video of just Jerry's going, <laughs> 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 just, just make uh, free alarms. Yeah. Um, <laughs> free alarms. Download this alarm now.